let's have a look at product as a service, a circular business model aimed at offering outcome-oriented solutions. In the product as a service business model, the company remains the owner of a product, selling its benefits on a service basis. So there are different ways to do this, like pay for performance or pay per use. Or they can sell leasing contracts, which means that the customer pays for continuous access to a product over an agreed, often longer period. In doing so, the company is responsible for the product's total life cycle, including installation, maintenance, upgrading, take back and treatment at end of use. So there is a shift here from making revenue on single transactions to long-term relationship-based service contracts, meaning that companies, they can actually make money on a single product more than once. They can also monetize usage data or extract material value at the end of use stage. So this approach changes the company's incentive to strive for product durability and upgrading. And from a user customer point of view, you get rid of all the hassle of maintenance and you can easily upgrade to the latest technical solution. And when tying the service price to performance, the provider is encouraged to give the very best service to its customers. So let's look at some examples. Spotify, they have dematerialized the music industry, offering music as a service with streaming. Gerald Street, they offer modular and repairable headphones as a service to a fixed fee every month. And Philips, they run an initiative to servitize LED lamps through their lighting as a service model where the customer pay per looks that has been used. And Electrolux, they try a new subscription-based business model with vacuum as a service. So they are offering their robotic vacuum cleaner on subscription and the customer pays for the number of square meters that has been cleaned with all the service and maintenance included in the fee.